But when the verdict is in, only one truth is golden. Still on oh, time. that's true. Ask him he's been married for how long? Over 27 years. Over 27 Look at him though, he look mad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look happy, brother. You don't look happy. He appeared on TV as a bailiff on a long-running judge show. Now the tables have turned, and he's found himself on the other side of the law. Still developing tonight, a Harris County Sheriff's deputy facing serious charges. 63-year-old Renard Spivey accused of killing his wife, 52-year-old Patricia Spivey, after an argument that turned deadly. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Maddie, and this is a Buell School video. Today we're going to be talking about a famous police officer that you may have seen on television who got himself into a world of trouble and probably should have slowed down on the steroids, if you know what I mean. This story takes us to the heartland of America, right there in the oil-filled land of Texas. They say that everything is bigger in Texas, and Renard Spivey is living proof of that saying. A Texan all his life, Renard Spivey was born on July 20th, 1959 in Houston, Texas. He is 63 years old. This muscle-bound Texan was a veteran of the Harris County Sheriff's Department in Houston. When he wasn't working as a cop, he was getting acting roles. In fact, you may have seen him playing a courtroom bailiff on the popular court TV show, Christina's Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Donovan Jeff Christina Perez presiding. Renard Spivey married Patricia Marshall in 2015. She was his third wife. Patricia had one daughter that she loved with all of her heart. Pat was also the youngest of her parents' children. She had four brothers and needless to say, they were protective of her. The Spiveys were good old down south, church going folks. They regularly attended church, they were active in the community and stayed very close with their family and friends. According to her family, Patricia's father enjoyed photography as a hobby and his daughter followed in his footsteps. No matter the event, if Pat was there, so was her camera and her kilowatt smile. If she wasn't taking pictures, then she was laying out a feast of food for her loved ones. Pat was notorious for cooking. She could grill, smother, bake, and fry like no other. According to those that knew him, Renard seemed to be happily married. Him and his wife, Patricia, both took their physical health very seriously and would routinely visit the gym to lift weights. I mean, look at this man. His muscles have muscles. He looks like he could bench press 300 pounds with his lips. Although Renard and Patricia liked to work out, Renard wanted to be in the best shape possible. He wanted to gain more mass and more muscle to keep up appearances while he was booking roles in movies and TV shows. After all, he was getting older and his muscles didn't grow the same way they used to when he was younger. To make sure that his physique didn't waver, Renard allegedly began taking steroids to help him with his muscle growth. Patricia's family was worried that someday something might happen between the couple. Patricia nicknamed Renard the Hulk, and on one occasion, he told Patricia's brother that one day she was going to make him rise up like the Incredible Hulk, and it ain't gonna be good. Then one night, that's exactly what happened. Renard Spivey called 911 around 3.12 a.m. on the night of the shooting, telling the police that he had been shot in the leg. He claimed that he and his wife had been arguing all day and were tussling with a gun when it accidentally fired, wounding his leg. Renard Spivey was transported to Ben Taub Hospital to be treated for a gunshot wound, where he gave authorities consent to search his home. During their investigation, police found Patricia Spivey's body in the far corner of the master bedroom closet. Officers also found a substantial amount of blood, three shell casings, and a semi-automatic gun on top of a hamper near the closet door. When autopsy results for Patricia Spivey came back, they revealed that she had been shot twice, once in the arm and once in the chest. The bullet that went through her arm and caused her bone to snap, making her arm immobile. The other bullet went through her heart, killing her instantly. The police were baffled. According to Renard, the gun was only fired once, and it was an accident. So when they found three shell casings on the floor in Renard's home, they obviously became suspicious of his tall tale. And when you say it was an accidental shot, what is... Investigators now are saying she was shot twice. What is the reasoning behind that? Yeah, I don't accident? know the facts because I've read reports that uh, uh, one shot went through her arm, the other in her chest, and then for 20 or 30 minutes, he's on 911 trying to revive her, giving a pumping her. 
So I know those are facts, but I don't know exactly what order the shots were fired. Renard was arrested on a murder charge and booked at the Harris County Jail. There was evidence that Renard may have had a mental illness or a possible intellectual disability. The court ordered that a mental health assessment be conducted. The results of that assessment were never made public. Because Renard was a cop and has an extensive knowledge of weapons, the prosecution asked the judge for a higher-than-average bond to try and keep Spivey off the streets and in police custody. Obviously, the money was no object for Renard and he bonded out of jail, paying the $500,000 bail amount fairly quickly after the judge set the bond amount. The conditions of his bond stipulated that he had to wear an ankle monitor at all times and agree to random urine testing at the state's discretion. The court didn't want Renard to drink any alcohol or take any drugs that he wasn't prescribed. Cough, like steroids. Renard was also not allowed to access any weapons. Thank God. The final condition of his bond agreement was that he was not allowed to speak to his deceased wife's family. The judge issued a no-contact order on Renard and he was barred from attending her funeral which I think is a pretty small ask, considering he's the reason there is a funeral in the first place. Renard Spivey got out of jail on a reduced bond three days after allegedly killing his wife, Patricia. His current whereabouts and arrest status have been publicly unknown since 2019. He may be walking among us right now. Hopefully you don't run into that guy. I guess he doesn't enjoy court the same way he did when he was on the other side of the judge's good side. If I find out any more information about Ronald Spivey, I'll make a follow-up video about the updates. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to stay up to date on this story. You are watching Buell School, and I really appreciate you stopping by. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.